a thoughtfully designed maintenance program performed by qualified personnel, properly equipped and trained, is essential for optimal long-term performance. A customized comprehensive carpet maintenance program consists of four elements. Properly trained and well-equipped personnel, as per manufacturer's recommendations, are essential to a successful maintenance program. Preventive measures such as mats, soil grates, and a clean exterior area can contain soil and isolate the soil entering a building. Color-coded building layout, which identifies heavy, intermediate, and light traffic. Scheduled maintenance using effective cleaning agents and equipment, which includes vacuuming, spot and spill removal system, interim cleaning system, and deep cleaning. Preventive measures consist of minimizing the debris that is tracked in from outside and protecting carpet from moisture and dirt. There are a range of preventive methods that should be used. However, we will focus on just a few because we feel that these have the greatest ability to cut down on required maintenance. The first is the use of mats or walk-off material like the one seen here, which are absolutely essential both outside and inside the building. Using outside mats will scrape debris off shoes that have the capability to track in that material. Using mats that have a coarse texture can hold large amounts of soil in their pile. Inside mats serve even more functions, such as preventing soil from being tracked onto the carpet and help dry the soil even when it is wet, which can be easily removed by vacuuming. J&J Industries offers a walk-off tile collection that features two styles, catwalk and runway. These two products offer the aesthetics of traditional carpeting while trapping soil and moisture inside entryways. Another preventive method that can be used is to keep the outside area of the building as clean as possible. Cleaning the sidewalks and parking lots when needed can prevent soil from being tracked into the building. Finally, hard surfaces inside the building, especially when transitioning into carpet, should be cleaned more frequent. A good way for the customer to plan their scheduled maintenance is to get a layout or blueprint of the building and determine which areas receive the heaviest traffic and which receive the least. Typically high traffic areas include entrances, hallways and elevator lobbies. Moderate traffic areas are secondary aisles, research areas, and conference rooms. Light traffic areas are offices, storage rooms, and executive areas. Now that the layout has been identified, you can color code the layout to make it more visual and easier to follow. Here is an example. Orange represents the light traffic areas. Blue is used for moderate and purple for heavy. Next is to determine the frequency at which you want to perform the different forms of maintenance. For example, the purple areas will need to be vacuumed daily, have a low moisture cleaning done every month, and deep cleaned every six months. Now that you have an idea of a maintenance plan, we will demonstrate the different maintenance methods and describe in more detail each one. You can also find these separately on the main menu for convenience and easy access.